what's up you guys it's jules here back with another video and in this video we're going to be watching the truth about being a gamer girl so if you enjoy make sure to like and subscribe to jules down below make sure you use code friend for 10 to 30 percent off your next g fuel order and let's just get into this video so this is actually a video that i made two years ago and it's so dramatic we're just gonna see all the points and see if they are still still relatable this is going to be so cringy We're back with another video this video is definitely the most different video i've ever posted you know i don't want it to be too serious even though it kind of kind of is not really it doesn't fucking matter okay why do i still have the same attitude two years later i'm just like this doesn't fucking matter <laughs> do you guys want me to film my last day of school which is tomorrow for like last day of school vlog i'm i really want to so even if you don't comment I i'm so cute bro i'm going to talk about positives and negatives i'm gonna talk positives first because i used to plan my videos so well and now i just fucking wing it let's just skip to the negatives i want the juicy part i think i almost cried in this video oh my god i'm gonna throw up that's so cringy negative things about being a gamer girl most of these things kind of only apply to girls this time but i'm not really sure i'm not trying to like i don't know i know nothing okay making <laughs> friends isn't always when you don't really know what you're talking about so you're just like i know nothing <laughs> he's good talk to so many times about having too many guy friends comments on it like i wish people would understand that friends are friends you can have guy friends and only be friendly that's my point relationships get ruined you talk to too many guys that's the same thing i'm like they're just friends you know really? oh my god my poor little self dakota if you're watching this fuck you <laughs> because i dated that kid for a year or so and um every day it was like you have too many guy friends, da, 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 you're cheating, you like them more than me, blah, 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 all this bullshit. That's still completely relatable. Like, that's so true. I'm sure all the girls in the community, like, when they get into a relationship, it's like, gamer girls have this spotlight on them that they don't really want, where it's like compliments and, and you need to have a guy that's super, you need to have a guy that like is super confident and he know he's not worried about any other man because he's such a good man. Duh, my little heart was broken back then, bro. He looked at as like someone who's cheating or like someone who's like not being loyal. Like I'm the complete opposite of that. It really does hurt. So loyal to that kid. So loyal. And we're still friends to this day. The freshman year beef is gone. But uh, literally, I yes, I have a lot of guy friends. I got Jacob, Brian, Adams, literally so many. Panda. It never means that they all just have a huge, ginormous crush on me. It's like, no, it's not like that. We're just homies that play video games together. I don't know, dude. Yep, this is completely relatable to this day, two years later. People don't understand just friends or joking. I know I've made some slips and or like mistakes like I'll get a double kill and I find it funny to like moan or do something stupid <laughs> and that's honestly just who I am but I'm really gonna try not to do that anymore because it's wrong I just find I, I remember that was a whole argument <laughs> it was like I mean I I was just a kid I literally, my whole friend group, when uh, they thought moaning was funny. So then I was like, okay, this is how you be funny. Okay, this is how you be funny. So yeah, that was completely weird and wrong. I would, I never do that anymore, especially with the numbers I have now. I would never fucking do that. <laughs> Can get hate from your own friends. This doesn't really happen as often as it used to, but when I was in like seventh or eighth grade, I've had certain friends that like really put me down and didn't understand that I love doing what I love. And I've gotten comments like, um, all you do is sit and play video games. You do nothing with your life. Um, 
this doesn't happen anymore. I, I'm pretty sure all my friends support my channel and whatever, or at least I hope they do. Um, but no, like I vividly remember that lunch table where they literally looked at me and said, all you do is sit in a chair all day and play video games. Like, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. And I didn't have like the confidence I have now. Cause like if someone said that shit to me now, I'd say go fuck yourself. <laughs> like from my own friends and I would go home and it would make me so sad. Like now I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. I'm going to drop you. Like, yeah. I'm not okay, you. Jules. You're not my friend. Talk your shit. Saying, something like that. Like, I don't think anyone should Why put am I someone crying? else down for something they're passionate about. Like, that is really wrong. Like, something that makes someone happy, never, never discourage them for doing something that they like, because I'm literally crying. <laughs> the fuck, dude? <laughs> it's just rude. You get confused with yourself. You're just kind of like, why the fuck do I like video games so much? Like, I'm a girl, like I should, what am I doing? I'd rather snipe and kill people instead of going to Sephora with my friends. Like, <laughs> like no, no, I don't wanna fucking go to the mall. I have a PS4 and I have Call of Duty, like that. I still definitely get confused with myself. Um, Cause it's like, why the hell am I like, why do I have such a love for the car 98? Like, why do I have such a love for the Tundra and the Pellington? Like, I find those, I find sniping so cool. I find it so fun. And none of my friends that are girls can relate at all. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really think about it that much anymore. I, I'm pretty much, there's so many girls in the gaming community now that it's like, um, there's no reason to feel like out of place or that you're weird. Being asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> and like all these other people would have normal- No, like it's senior year and I still, I don't fucking know, bro. You kind of think to yourself, is this just a phase? Um, will I grow out of it? Like- That's true. I- when I take breaks from COD, I'm like, do I even like COD? But then I go back on the game and I'm like, this is actually the best thing ever created. <laughs> like, I love sniping. Which I genuinely was worried about that. I wanted to be a dancer at one point, like a serious dancer at one point. And I grew out of that. That's all I have to say for the negatives. Alright guys, I hope- I don't know why that video was so dramatic, but honestly, that video was very- had a lot of good points in it, I guess. Um, I loved how I was shading my ex while I was wearing our promise ring. I don't even- It is what it is! It's not all fun being a gamer girl, honestly. Um, you know, if I had to add to the negatives, um, I would say like- People will assume you show your body for views. People will assume you only have subscribers because you're a woman. People will just assume the stereotypical things on you. Like I could literally get hate. Like people would literally be like, uh, you probably just like show your body. When I, most of my, in my gaming videos, I wear hoodies and t-shirts and it's just gonna be like how it is, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed this little reaction video to my younger self. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Jules down below. Remember to follow my social medias. Those will be linked in the description. Don't forget, you can get a pair of blue light glasses using code Jules on opticalsonline.com. These are such amazing quality. I highly recommend them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, just hit my mic. That's cute.